Yes, there's, there's the famous, famous Maurice Cook. Infamous, infamous. <laughs> oh, you are famous. The famous folk artist Maurice Cook is here working at the um, the Heritage Festival, and Maurice is heritage. He was born in Carbon Hill, Alabama. Am, am I right, yes, Maurice? That's correct. Carbon Hill, Alabama. Alabama. Your work is absolutely wonderful. Well, thank you, ma'am. I'm, I'm glad you like it. Oh, it's, it's absolutely wonderful. The girls at the Arts Alliance absolutely adore you. They would not let Josephine, his mule that he painted, Josephine, they would not let it go. Well, I'm, I'm, I feel proud about that because I would like it to stay right in the center. So, you know, the, the center of Walker County. Exactly. So they could see what, what we do in Walker County. County. A lot of talent comes from Walker County. Oh, you're so right. We got comedians come from Walker County. We got politicians. I mean, you know. That's right. Actresses. For over, a, oh yes, Tallulah. We had Tallulah. Right. I mean, and um, there was one um, on television from Alabama. I don't know where she was from. Well, of course, you know, there was um, George Lindsay from exactly. right here. Right, right here. Right. So a lot of talent out of Butter Walker Bean. County. Butterbean. <laughs> I'm here in the booth of, of Maurice Cook, and his wife Esther's here. We didn't realize that, and so we're going to get to meet her, yeah. Esther Cook. Yes. Yeah. Your yeah. husband does beautiful work. Thank you. Thank oh, you. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> yes. Now, were you Walker County too, Esther? Yes. Oh. In fact, my mother still lives in Carbon Hill. Okay, so you're Carbon Hill too. Yes. Oh my. Yes. And you have one daughter, I understand. One daughter, one mm -hmm. granddaughter. Oh, how yes. nice. So we were just chuckled to death. Oh, uh, uh, Maurice was saying that she really didn't like his word, but well, you said not exactly not that. Not exactly, exactly that. that. You know, when you get so many paintings and you still own the house, you tell the daughter, well, okay, we own all of this wall space, so we're going to hang paintings in your room as well. <laughs> So really, she that was just... That over well with her. Oh. And she says, Mama, I felt like I've raised in a museum all my life. <laughs> so what happened was she, they built a new home, and we decided we'd take them five paintings. We hung the paintings. She gets home from work and call and say, Mama, you got to come get these paintings. Her husband talked her into keeping one. 
that they oh. have over the fireplace mantel. Oh my goodness. My daughter's a min minimalist. Oh. But when it comes to paintings and tacking on the wall, she said, no, mama. But since then, uh -huh. she's acquired two more. Okay. The grandbaby, we've hung two in the grandbaby's room. All right. <laughs> All <laughs> right. Daughter okay. likes granddaddy's the, uh, work. Granddaughter loves uh, to paint with, grand, with Big Papa. Oh, she likes to paint. He's mm -hmm. teaching her to paint. He's teaching her to paint. That's fabulous. Yes. Well, and your daughter didn't uh, want no. to paint? No. She was tired of it? Yes. Oh, that's yes. a shame. That's a shame. It, it really is. is. She now, how can people um, contact Maurice for his work, Maurice um, Cook? They can call us at area code 205-823-3191. And we'll talk about them coming over to see his paintings or make arrangements to meet him if they picked out one at a previous show. Today we're here with Patty Levi, and her work is so unusual. She takes things and, um, and makes something pretty out of just anything. And uh, tell them the name of your work again. What do you call your uh, artwork? It's called Whimsicalities. It's a little bit of whimsy and a little bit of practical. A little bit of whimsy and a little bit of practical. Uh, I do quilling, which is an ancient artwork, which is small one eighth inch strips of paper. It's curled and then glued together to make different designs. Uh, I repaint on glassware. I do um, custom orders, about anything. I take driftwood and reuse it, repurpose it to make stands out of. Uh, I take old cat food cans and make bird cedars out of them. Oh, how cute, Patty. I, I pretty much, if it's old and it needs to be something redone to it, that's what I like to do. And I love to do custom orders. And I can be reached at 256-747-8179. We're here at the Heritage Festival, and we walked inside Bernard's Store for Men. And we're here with the owner, Rusty Richardson, also our neighbor. And wow. um, I had never noticed one particular thing, but I just wanted to say he has so many antiques it's a fun place to be in we love the old photos but i happened to look up and i saw that framed coat rusty tell us the significance of that framed coat uh, the framed coat uh we just now got back uh we, we we've had it with the, with the framer and it's a great story I, I like to tell uh my dad uh came down to bernard's in 1974 uh, to buy a sport coat uh, from our dear friend Harold Brassfield that worked here with Bernard and the gang and um, while he was buying the coat Harold asked my dad what Rusty might be doing uh, if he was working he knew I was a young guy and, and uh, dad said uh, yeah he's working with his brother at a restaurant and uh, I think I was uh, 15 fixing to be 16 at the time and uh, so he said, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, he said I think he might want to have a job at Bernard's. At Hoyt Elliott was leaving going to Vanderbilt um, to school and uh, the opening was going to be here and I wonder if I would enjoy coming down and working at Bernard's and so my dad came home and told me about that and I was really really excited about it and I got with Miss Sadler at the high school through the crow op program and she got me an interview with Bernard and I came down scared to death you know naturally you know and to talk to Bernard because I thought it was Mr. Jasper you know and Bernard was such a great <laughs> man and, and a great merchant and uh, but anyway, we, we uh, came down with the interview, and I interviewed, and Bernard said, uh, Miss Sadler does the hiring and the firing, and we'd like to have you. If she wants you, you got the job. So Fantastic. I got the job, and um, and anyway, Bernard, uh, Bernard uh, we had a great time until Bernard's, Bernard died until, in 1980. Oh. But uh, the coat, the coat, one of the other things that's so ironic about it also, the coat was the, co the company that made the coat was Sewell Manufacturing Company. We use, we use the Varsity Style label, and we still buy from them. Bernard bought this store in 1949 from the Green family, and Bernard opened the store with all men's with the Sewell Manufacturing Company, oh, okay. so we still buy from them today. And I've held on to that coat, or my mom did all these years, and then my mom died, but, died, but when, after she died, we got the coat from the house. And 
So I uh, thought we would uh, put it in the shadow box and, and put it up on the wall. So it's a that's great it. story. Sorry, great display. That, but, uh, great display. Hey, Rusty, what about the other photos? Can you just tell a little bit about the photos? They're I, just wonderful old photos of Jasper. I will quickly. I'll go, go through those. Uh, several years ago, um, I got with the nice folks over at the library, and they have a great collection of uh, fo uh, negatives. Uh, from a photographer that uh, donated negatives to the library and they've got a great collection over there and I got with them and was able to buy some some uh, prints and we, we had them framed. The first one uh, is the old Weinsteins where um, some other folks may remember it was the Shirley Ann shop. Uh, then later they moved across the street where the laugh where the Weinstein store was before they closed. That, that was a oh, great picture. Oh that's a there. great picture at night it too is, with yeah, all lit up. Perfect. Uh, the next one is uh, Speedy Lunch. I think that's probably everybody's favorite picture of all the old pictures that we have. Um, where you could go in there and get a great big bowl of chili or a great greasy uh, hamburger, hamburger uh, you know, for a nickel or a dime or whatever.